everybody's talking about Jewel Rage tonight, the 2017 NCHA Futurity Champion. I'm here with the owner, Billy Wolf. Congratulations to you, Billy. Thank you. What does this win mean to you? Oh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's all sunk in yet. I mean, it, it, it means a lot. It's very exciting. Now, you've got a really interesting story because you're kind of brand new to cutting, aren't you? I'm very new. How on earth did you get into it? Uh, I mean, years ago, I don't know, probably 10 years ago, I was at Don Ham here at one of our good friend's house, and, and uh, Highbrow CD had just won big, and I just told Don, hey, if you ever come across a horse that is good enough to, you know, interesting enough to, I'd like to own, and several years later, here we are. Several years later. Now, you guys know each other. You both have show pigs. That's your connection. Is that right? Our, our kids. Our kids did, and we're from the same town, so... So, Don, tell us how you found this horse. Well, Austin called me one day uh, during the Super Stakes, and uh, he had rode this horse and tried him. <clears throat> and uh, he just told me, he said, hey, you know, if you got a customer that's looking for a nice horse, he said, I don't want to leave Fort Worth without him. So, uh, you know, Billy and I being really close friends, you, you know, you're kind of reluctant to just buy any horse. I mean, you want to make sure because of our friendship that it's the right horse. And, and uh, you know, just the way Austin felt about him when he tried him, uh, you know, I felt like you know that was good enough for me. So I called Billy, and it was a done deal. So, so you've owned a horse for roughly seven, eight months, and you're a futurity champion. And you met Austin for the first time uh, last night. Is that right? That's true. Okay. Why um, so late in the in the program? Well, I mean, I, I put a lot of faith in Don, and, and uh, he told me that Austin's the best. They don't need me around. I mean, you know, I, I enjoy watching it. I, during the holidays, I was at home, had a sick one, and wasn't able to be here. But, um, I mean, I just, it's, you got the best. You had faith in, in the, the knowledge that, you know, you would put onto a good thing. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you think of cutting? What was it like to sit there tonight and watch that final and watch your horse? Oh, I mean, it was very exciting. I mean, I just, you know, ever since, like, I go back to the highbrow CD day or whatever day, I mean, you know, I, it was just an unbelievable, unbelievable feeling, I mean, to watch the horses and watch that. I mean, you know, ever since, ever since I saw a video of the horse, I could tell he's athletic. And, and I, the last night watching him, he's, you know, to me, he looks very, very athletic and just fun to watch. I guess you must have been wanting to pinch yourself, really, thinking how this had all come together tonight. Yes, ma'am. I mean, we're, we're, I'm involved in a lot of different stuff. We're involved in lots of different species, and I may not have put my time in here, but I have in several other places. I know it takes a lot to get a good one. I mean, we're in a show pig business. We, we put 60 on feed a year, and it takes a lot to get a good one. And I'm sure it's the same way here. I guess it, it, a lot of it goes to the good people around me and luck. Yes. So have you got any other involvement with horses in general? No, ma'am. So what are the plans now with this horse? You know, I don't know. We'll sit back, let all this soak in in a few days and uh, and uh, and talk about it and go from there. You better find him another one. <laughs> it's going to be kind of hard to top this. So, um, no, it's, you know, it's it's great to have great friends like Billy and, and uh, you know, great to have new people like him in the in the business. So very, very fortunate. Yeah, it makes it exciting and congratulations. What an awesome night for you. Thank you.